Oh, hi. I was just working on my sound map. You want to see it? Have you ever made a sound map before? A sound map is a visual record taking notes on all the different sounds that you hear somewhere. The sounds up above, down below, in front of you, behind you, to your left, to your right, all around, and drawing them on a map. Put yourself right in the middle. That's me. See my little happy face? And then you draw not the actual thing that's making the sound, but how the sound might look to you. So there's no right or wrong answers here. It's just whatever you think. And doing this, drawing how the sound looks to you, you can feel the muscle of your brain flexing. It's, it's an interesting feeling. It's a great workout for those brain muscles. It's gonna keep your brain cells sharp during this time of quarantine at home where it can be easy to kind of fade into doing less, but we're gonna keep those brain muscles sharp. So here's some things that I heard. I heard this bird song that started off kind of quiet and then it got louder to a peak and then got quiet again. And I heard it a couple different times and in different spots. I heard this was the um, sound of a helicopter that was circling up overhead, kind of a whirling sound. This was traffic from the highway, which I can hear a little bit of in the distance. This was the sound of a bee visiting flowers in this bush right over here, called Ribes sanguinium, the red flowering current. The bees love it. This was a frog that I heard ribbiting in the distance. I think maybe a tree frog. This is like the gushy sound of, um, almost sounded like earthworms in the soil where I'm sitting. It's a really quiet sound, but it's pretty moist right here. And I think I could actually hear the worms wiggling around in the soil. Now this sound right here, this was a big sound. It wasn't too far off. And this was a human made sound. It was like this. Ah, 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 choo! This is my neighbor sneezing. Put that on my sound map. So some of these sounds are made by people. Helicopter, sneezing, traffic. Some of them were made just by things that were naturally occurring, like birds and bees and gushy sounds of soil and frogs. So it can be interesting when you record your sounds on your sound map to see which ones are natural sounds and which ones are human-made sounds. You can make your sound map different times of day in the same spot and see how the sounds change. That's really good to do, especially first thing in the morning and um, in the evening. Seems like the wild things are a little more active then. You can also do this inside and record the sounds in your home. That's interesting too. But it's kind of nice to put them all in one book so you can flip back through and see how your sounds change. You can write your location and the date on your map clipboard, piece of paper, that works too, whatever you got. This is very simple, fun for the whole family. But my favorite thing about this activity is that it really gives you a chance just to have a moment of quiet for the kids and for the adults. It is meditative. You tune in, you notice so much more than you did as you were just uh, hurrying about through your day without really focusing in on on sounds in a certain spot, making a record of what you hear. I hope you have fun with this activity. I wanna see your sound maps.